Okay, uh, boys and girls, welcome back to the mathcenter.com. This is a series of short objective questions from uh, IGCSE Accounting. The variant is 11. The code is 0452-0452-11 for the uh, summer exam of 2020, right? So, uh, let's continue. Okay, this is question 24. Question 24 reads, Harry and Jane are in partnership. The following information relates to Harry for the financial year. Okay, they've given you some information here, salary, drawings, share of profit. Okay, the current credit, the opening credit balance of Harry's account was 28,200. What was the closing account uh, on this uh, current account balance? Okay, so this is, okay, so what do you do? You just open a, a Harry's current account. Okay, current account. So what do we have? The credit balance, so the balance brought down. Uh, in your exam, please write in full. Uh, but it's time, to save time, I wrote short form. But please, in your exam, please write it in full. So the opening credit balance was 28,200, place it on the credit. Now salary, salary would increase the amount that we owe to Har uh, Harry. So we credit Harry's account and debit the appropriate account for salary. Drawings, well, we have to credit the drawings account and debit uh, Harry's current account here. So it's 2,800. Share of profit, that would also further increase the amount that the business owes him. So it's share of profit, okay? 1,600. So then after that, you will balance it up, the total. The total on the left hand side is 40,800. You can use a calculator. So the left hand side should also be 40,800. And therefore, the balance, the balancing figure, which is a credit balance, but we call this balance carried down. Remember, people, it's not a debit balance, huh? it's a credit balance. This is a balancing figure that we put on the debit side to make it balance. It's 38,000. So there's a credit balance of 38,000. Okay, hence the answer is B. Okay, we're good. Okay, so in the next question, oh, I need to erase all this. Sorry, people. I need to clear all. They are all drawings. Okay, beautiful. This Zoom is amazing. Okay, so now let's see. My next question I'm looking at is question 25. I used to record on Camtasia, so now I'm using this Zoom. So do forgive me, it's a bit, but I'm a bit clumsy. I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, so 25, which item is shown in the uh, income statement of a company's uh, and statement of changes? Remember, statement of changes in equity. Okay, so sorry, I'm a bit slow. Okay, so this is a statement of changes in equity. Remember this in your limited companies. Uh, is it A, interest on debentures accrue? No. Ordinary share dividend paid, um, which is shown in the income statement as well as the statement of changes equity. Ordinary share dividend is uh, shown paid during the year. It's shown in the statement of changes equity, but not in both income statement as well as statement of changes in equity. So no, okay. The third one is profit for the year, yes. Income statement, the purpose is to arrive at profit or loss for the year. Statement of changes, remember your retained earnings and then the profit for the year is added to the retained earnings, so yes. So I would think the answer is 25C, okay? So let's move on. Again, I need to erase. Sorry about this. You can rewind this video to listen to my explanation again. Okay. Answer is D. Transfer. Uh, sorry. The answer is profit for the year. 
Okay. So let's move on. Next one. Okay, question 26. Okay, let's look at question 26. Hassan's capital decreased by 200 over the year even though he made a profit. So which transactions cost this? Okay, so what I would like to point out to you is this. Wait, I need to annotate. Okay, uh, his capital decreased by 200 over the year. So, okay, I'll be very I'll do this close, uh, carefully. Oh, sorry. Here. So remember this in the, uh, the famous equation. Closing capital equals opening capital, right? Plus uh, profit for the year. Remember this equation, right? Uh, plus additional share capital if you have. In this case, you don't have. Minus drawings. Okay? So therefore, let's say... The closing capital, capital decreased by 200. Let's say the capital is X. Let's say my, uh, uh, the opening capital is X, okay? So the closing capital will be X minus 200. So I'm going to use the closing capital here, X minus 200, okay? The opening capital, I shall refer to X. The profit for the year made a profit of 7,000. Okay, what transaction cost this? So what I did was, well, we have X minus 200, if which is the first one, let's see, uh, that would be additional capital of 1,000 and drawings of minus 8,200. I'm just filling up the A here. Ha, huh, guess what? So by simple maths, X minus 200, left-hand side and the right-hand side, uh, X plus 8,000 minus 200. Can you see? X plus 7,000 plus 1,000 minus, uh, that would be X plus 8,000 minus 8,200. will also give you X minus 200. So the left-hand side equals to the right-hand side. Therefore, which transaction caused this? It would have been A. A would have been the answer. And we are done. All right. So give us a thumbs up for this and follow us on uh, Facebook and YouTube. If you want more of this, comment below. Uh, go to our website, themedcenter.com uh, for all the courses that we have for accounting, maths, etc. All right. I'll see you soon.